Ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the news we have for you today. Yes, Naramali says, yo boys, OM. Yes, and battle singer Afiz Fashola, aka Naramali, who was released from prison, Ikoi prison last Friday, has stated that internet fraudsters, aka yo boys, owe him money because he went to prison on their behalf. Naramali was arrested in May by EFCC operatives and arraigned in court for crimes budging on internet fraud, was granted bail and released after the bail conditions had been met and verified by the court. And a video is shared online the singer at this message for Yahoo Boys. Let's take a look. I don't know. I don't know because I'm a Yahoo boy. No. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. So, Naramali is not done talking about Yahoo boys. Yeah, and uh, you know how people were referring to him as a legend, taking the fall for people on the streets and everything. It's just very weird that he's now asking for compensation because that's what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to feel about that. So mm. I think that this dude would not just learn yeah. it would never learn can't it just be out of that place and keep quiet because hmm. from the comment section people were like my guy hmm. are you not supposed to just hmm. not mention the word yahoo again hmm. like we were com commenting on the uh, the post like my guy don't say anything like you went to this place because of this situation why are you not coming back on social media to be saying Yahoo boys deserves to pay no, you so because... I feel like Naramali thinks that he didn't do anything wrong and then maybe he was uh, the scapegoat, which I actually feel he is. But what is no, we'll happening... let the courts decide. Okay. Mm. But what is actually happening is the fact that he doesn't feel like, you know, he should have been the only one or whatever it is. He feels like maybe every other person should have joined him in his punishment. So he's like, I've taken one for the team. But I don't know what that is about. <laughs> like, it's what I agree with you on is the fact that he doesn't even know that he's done anything wrong. Because, mm. you see, there are so many people who do stuff like this and then they don't even know that they have done they anything social media. wrong. Mm. And because mm. he does not feel that way, he would mm -hmm. continue to do mm -hmm. this. So... <laughs> I'm just wondering. Okay, well. All right, so still on the issue of fraud, Nigerian rapper Faust has reaffirmed his resolve to continue condemning social vices in his song, noting that cybercrime has given Nigerians a very horrible name in the international community. Now, Files added that the act is destroying a lot of youths who feel it's the only option because there are people out there actually putting in efforts and struggling to make it by doing legitimate stuff and not just by taking from someone else. Yeah, Faust, of course, he, I love yeah, the way he's, vocal he's very vocal this. about cybercrime. And it's a thing. I don't know if you know that recently, um, Nigerian students are not temporarily not allowed visas to study in the United States of America. That's mm. a recent development about yesterday or two days ago. Now, now this is somebody who is passionate about learning, wants to explore, and then you're, you're restricting. Now, I'm not blaming the United States, but you can't blame the them. Image. The Nigerians, we don't have good images And I do know that this dude will learn from this they would Honestly. hear this and they will stop it because a lot of people justify it i know people who have come all out to say that say we're not even a part of this and they have make discourage people from doing it yeah. especially false oh, it keeps yes. talking about yes. this yes. but then the thing is you know wh whenever people come out to say what you've just said that mm -hmm. uh, people are being denied visas and mm -hmm. all that and that our image out there is not good Terrible. they don't even want to listen they keep saying it as if you're Owing them something yes. of some sort, like uh, as my Nairamali said when he started the whole thing, saying that we were slaves and mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. we are it collecting belongs what belongs to us. us. <laughs> and oh, I don't know where that mentality came, came from. from, and I hope that it will just be gone forever. I don't know who would wash <sighs> the mindset of Nigerians. All right, moving on. A rugged man attacked in London. And our ro rapper Rugged Man has opened up about being a victim of recent attack. The veteran rapper was attacked at a restaurant in London. And although the event of things are still sketchy, web users have suggested that it had to do with the Rugged Man versus Yao Boy saga, in which the rapper was threatened with a thorough beating for speaking against the Manis a few months ago. Not to worry though, Rugged Dibab also shared on Instagram that he's safe and he had the London Metropolitan Police to thank for their swift response. So back to this same issue of, you know, Nigerians who speak out, look at the kind of reactions they get. Now, I saw in the comment section, someone actually said that they think it's a publicity, uh, publicity let's, stunt. Let's, let's check yeah, out this so, clip. Oh, wow. yeah. Let's check out let's this clip of Rugged Man.
Lizzie, 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 my phone wants to blow up thank you all for calling thank you all of you calling and sending messages i'm all right we thank god for everything okay i'm all right people god over everything god pass everybody every bad thing you understand me i'm good i'm good I'm, I'm enjoying London. Thank you all. God bless for the love. Don't forget. Anyway, I'm seeing a promo that you do now. For my show for September 21st, Eco Hotel, the Foundation Concert. I okay, so, yes, back to what I was saying about the publicity stunt. Mm -hmm. Some people are saying because, you know, he posted that video Himself, on his phone, as, yeah. as you said. And then two hours later, he posted, he posted the, this one talking about how he's fine and everything. Then he talked about his upcoming concert. But even if he's using the fact that he has the media's attention to promote it. It doesn't mean that it is right that he got beaten up. Like, why do we always miss the important thing? Like, why should he be beaten up by four people? I don't even understand why people are saying that because it comes from his phone. So you can attend a party and then somebody is recording you and you post your picture or your video that, okay, at this also so party. So why can't it come from your phone? Why does it have to come with, from another person's phone get. who has recorded you dancing at a party? Because this is another case. So because it has come from your phone, it's a problem. Nigerians, I don't know. Okay, the situation is still sketchy. We'll just <sighs> keep our fingers crossed to see who did that rugged man. Anyways, moving to the next story. Omar speaks on depression. Yes, in the wake of increasing rates of depression amongst Nigerian youths, Nigerian singer Omar has weighed in on the conversation. In a recent interview with Entertainment Splash, the singer had this to say. It's very, very sad. And uh, I feel like... Our parents have a lot to do with not giving, you know, young ones the um, opportunity to express themselves. To you know, that time, they, 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 you know, the way parents who dominated the economy, your society in Nigeria, ah, person not supposed to do this thing. Hey, taboo. Do you understand? For example, a young person might just be sexually assaulted or raped, and then she will not be able to speak her truth because. Instead of them to accuse or to blame the person who actually did this thing, they will be blaming the girl like she's tainted or stained. Now, those um, backward reasoning as to how to handle young people these days is not helping. So those of us who do not understand our children, their decisions with regards to their career choices, their sexuality, I think and Poverty too, they join. Frustration. The big life, where you will find it, where we say, you know, say your hand. Fast money. If they come, you go come press throat later. We, it is our responsibilities as parents, because me, my own children, they grow, to constantly, you know, educate our children in the most tender way possible so that they can be full formed, fully formed individual and do never ever forget to seek help. If you are feeling some sort of way, I'm sure that there are, there are free counseling centers. Apart from that, if small bread day your pocket, go and pay a therapist. Some people will say, swear, I don't fit to therapist me. Now lie, they, they help. They may they do the doctor for the team. Oh, mommy me. has spoken. Yes. And it's something I think everybody should be aware of. Everybody should see a therapist. Like, it's becoming, like, we're getting into that vibe in this part of the world in Nigeria, whereby if you're going through stuff, talk to somebody, see a therapist. Like mm -hmm. she said, they, are pay, they pay people to be therapists. So mm -hmm. meet them if you have money. Talk to a and then stop yeah. shaming people who come out. I like the fact that she spoke about that. Someone comes out and says, I was sexually assaulted, or this happened to me, someone molested changes. me. Then it turns. It's, I don't understand why in 2019 we're still blaming the yeah. victim. So stop I saw that. a video clip yesterday. Uh, it was uh, on Instagram. And so this lady wore a jumpsuit, but it was all revealing. And this dude slapped her butt. And so she slapped the hell out of that person's face like why would you do this and first of all, why did you wear this and so she came back to the guy and said, stood in front of the guy and said to the guy do it again do it again i can wear whatever i want to wear 
mm. it does not give you that right. you know right to yeah. start slapping me or doing anything i mean i don't know why people do that and they will still do it tomorrow like people have spoken but they will still do it tomorrow <laughs> okay moving on yesterday was father's day across the globe and just like a number of people who had messages for fathers on the special day nigerian actress tonto dk and ghanaian actress eva nelson had messages for deadbeat dads mm. Now, the movie stars uh, took to their Instagram pages to share a post. Now, Tonto wrote, Happy Father's Day to all the amazing fathers out there and RIP to all the dead beats. Stay dead. And uh, while Tonto DK was busy sending a message to all the dead beats dads, the ex-husband Churchill Olakunle had a special message for their son, King Churchill, shared a photo of his son and himself and captioned it with a beautiful message. Loving dads deserve gratitude and acknowledgement all year round, but there is no harm in joining in the fun of Father's Day, especially as I look forward to bonding with you soon, my boy, King Andre Oladuni Churchill. As for even Nelson, our message was simply to all the men, if you know you're not ready to be a child in a child's life, today isn't your day if you have not put in any work. So, uh, <coughs> so like there's a sharp contrast between how Tonto DK approached the issue and how Yvonne Nelson, but they're still saying the same thing. Well, even Don't was be subtle. a dead be Even dead. Son was subtle. Yeah, that's the thing. So Tonto, <laughs> that's the reason why Tonto always seems this way because she comes out and is like, R.I.P. to all the dead be that. <laughs> like she's just oh trying God. to pass the message across that if you're not in your child's life, which is true, mm -hmm. then you don't, you know, I mean, you don't deserve the accolades. You haven't done much. Now, I'm not saying that Churchill hasn't done much. I'm just saying that's the message she's trying to pass. Mm -hmm. But as, as per usual with Tonto DK, she came out, came all out aggressive. So maybe that's why people might have, you know, something feel some type but, of... But, Oji, but, why you keep looking at me like this? I don't know. Say because something. Man. But, 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 like, dad, like right? I'm used to this. Another Father's Day, another Tonto DK drama. She does you this. You see, I don't like when that thing happens. She did it last year. It's not she's a Tonto DK drama. She's just speaking her truth. Oh, every it's year? Like, Okay. But the thing is that if you're not going to We know. If so you're not, you, if you're not going to focus on Tonto or Yvonne, we're just going to say that people should just be responsible. If you're a father, be responsible. If you're a mother, be, be res responsible. responsible. It does not even have to do with maybe a particular agenda. Just be that's responsible. True. That's and true. that's just it. All right. Okay, leaving Tonto Dike and a drama is a wrap on the news. It's time for Tweetville, where we bring you all the savagery, humor, and craziness that social media has to offer in maybe five minutes or less or more. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start. <clears throat> so now this is a picture of these two little cute kittens and they're just like being all mushy and stuff. And then Chris, who is being a hater, says, even pussycats is in a relationship. God, am I your creation? God, you number the hairs on my head. You said we should not worry about what we should eat and drink. What about relationships? Should we worry about that? Because like this, this cat is getting more and action. <laughs> I know, I, right. I know. I can relate to this. What's going yeah. on? I know, right? Like, my dogs are there for each other. <laughs> is it that hard? <laughs> it's not that hard. Maybe your female dog is not demanding too much. Wow. So but now the, I'm the problem. Cat is not demanding too much. It's okay. It's okay. Very way. Very way. <laughs> okay, we have more tweets from Lord Faoud. And he says, my mom spends a lot of time watching YouTube videos. So one day I told her, mommy, you're wasting data. And she replied, you're the one who is broke. Oh, shit! Yeah. It's not my problem. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, wow. <laughs> but Nigerian <laughs> parents add, in Jesus' name. But I have to add. I don't think it's a guy that's even buying data for the mom. No, 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 no. no. But, but no. to be honest, to be honest, he's on a different level. <laughs> like, don't you remember the times when we used to do midnight call? Free midnight yeah. call. At that time, you felt like, we felt like... When you just coolest. got out of high school well, or something. Think about it. Think about it now. You want to lose sleep because you don't want to pay for call credits. Like, what no, was no. that now? Mm -hmm. What was that? Ah! I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on to more tweets. Okay. <clears throat> so he said, I had 120 in jam, so I walked up to my neighbor, who is in the university, to ask if there's hope. And then this is me speaking. And he says, bro, is there any poly... I can not put in four with this my score. And my neighbor said, sure. And I said, which poly? I said, poly bag. <laughs> poly God. bag. Yeah. Oh, this is not fair. But no, this is fair. I, yeah. I Why think, did you score 120 in jam? I, I think when you get a stern <laughs> response like this, you go back to think about you your life. And so you will read. Your you you will dust your books. Is poly, uh -huh. is poly jam cut off not 150 that year? But you not that year. You. This year. It's just recently oh, that sorry. they have reduced all the scores. And I think it's now about 160 to I don't get even into know. university. I, I, what do you want? 
What do you actually want? No, this neighbor is wicked. Pull it back. Ah, okay. Yeah, you have read. to hear the truth Maybe sometimes. Read. Yes, read. All right, let's move read on to more. Is that to read? <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to Ojo. I mean, don't listen to him at all. <laughs> okay, this is from Uche. He says, this guy just stopped a babe in my front and asked her for her account number. He said she deserves money for being too beautiful. I feel like he's an evil man. Mm -hmm. I yeah. deserve like money it. for being too beautiful. I like it. And then the man legit transferred money to her. He didn't even need to ask for a phone number. She gave him. Up your game, Kings. OJ. So. But we've done something like this before. Now. Hey, 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 what, hey. What, 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 what is that? It wasn't money. Shall one one but me, it has happened to me before. Eh? That, eh? Yeah. Tell us, tell us, tell us. My first place of work. Yeah. So I was working then. So I had this ex who was still very much in love with me. And so my boyfriend forgot my birthday. But my oh. ex remembered and called me 12 midnight. And so this guy just came randomly one day and said, Ah, ah this your hairstyle is so beautiful. You are looking good. And so he gave me money. He said, how much did you make the hair? And just gave me the money. And what, what happened afterwards? Uh, that's nothing. The, I'm just telling you that they are still good. Nothing I said, should no, nothing. This not, is nothing. So, that's your ex, right? This is a random guy. So, that just but, approaches but then, you. you know, my ex like, would have said, so, I don't have anything see, to do with her so, any longer. It's so sweet. Just imagine this. <laughs> like, hey, babe, how are you? Can I get your number? No, I don't give up my phone number. Not your phone number. Your account number. number. <laughs> Like, please, 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 randomly, please, people should be doing this. this. I want it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody will go broke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. So a wife told her husband, after you finish watering the, pan the plants, we need to talk about something I saw on your mobile phone. And then, <clears throat> it has been more than four days, the husband is still watching <laughs> This plants. My guy. Wow. I saw one My picture. My guy. See the water, the plants. I'm not, I'm not done yet. He was, this thing has a picture to follow. It. The place was waterlogged and he was just there with his clothes. I'm not done like, yet. <laughs> They need water. It needs some water. You cannot check my phone. <laughs> Stop kissing now. 